if you are a long-term investor, I think, you know, this is a good time to, you know, build a Bitcoin position. Now, when it comes to the rest of the market, I think we need to be a little bit more patient. You know, I still believe that a lot of these projects, you know, when you look at the chart of, you know, Ethereum, Solana, and many of these other projects, you know, in terms of, you know, where they are right now and, you know, where they could potentially trade in the next, you know, couple of months, you know, I do think that we have, you know, another massive, you know, leg down that could potentially be the final capitulation. And when you also look at past bear markets, you know, many of these projects, you know, the old coins, of course, they, they have experienced, you know, anywhere between, you know, 18 to, you know, 24 months of, you know, a bear market. And when you look at our current bear market, it basically started back in November. So we are coming to the, you know, one year anniversary of our current bear market. So I do think that many of these other projects, you know, of course, I'm talking about all coins, do have, you know, another six, you know, maybe to 12 months of, you know, sideways, you know, trading. Now, of course, we are going to see some really nice moves, you know, both to the upside and to the downside. But if you look at it from a bigger picture perspective, you know, this is going to look very, very similar to, you know, this period right here, guys. So it is going to look very similar to uh, from sometimes in July 2018, you know, all the way until, you know, sometimes in basically October of 2020. Or we can even say, you know, sometimes around July of 2020. So this is like literally, you know, just a little over two years of sideways trading. And uh, you can clearly see, you know, along the way, you have these massive moves right here where Ethereum goes from $80, you know, all the way up to $360. But when you look at the bigger picture, I mean, we were basically, you know, trading sideways over two years. So when I look at the current structure, you know, personally, I think this is not when I need to take a position. Uh, I need to be a little bit more patient because this is something that is going to take some time. And, uh, you know, it absolutely wouldn't surprise me if we trade, you know, sideways for the entire 2023. I'm talking about these old coins, of course. If we trade sideways for the remainder of 2023 and, you know, a good part of 2024 as well. Because I am expecting the next bull market to be sometimes in 2025. So, you know, the entire 2022 is a bear market. If the entire 2023 is, you know, sideways trading, then we could potentially end up with something that looks, you know, like this, where from November, I mean, not from November, uh, from, you know, right down here, guys, you know, all the way up until, you know, sometimes in the summer of 2024, you know, on the bigger picture perspective, where many of these old coins, you know, basically trade sideways. And again, you know, in between right here, you're going to see massive moves. But if you look at it from a bigger picture perspective, you know, it's, it is only, you know, sideways trading until the beginning of, you know, the next bull market. And, uh, you know, when it comes to something like an Ethereum, you know, I actually think that we are going to trade sideways between, you know, $400 and you know, $800. I actually think this $800 level, you know, $800 is going to be a massive level towards, you know, the beginning of the next bull market. So I think what we are going to see, guys, is uh, you know Ethereum trading in this range, basically, right up here, between four hundred and seventy dollars 
and all the way up to eight hundred dollars for a good part of 2023 and then sometimes in 2024 finally we are going to break above you know eight hundred dollars and that could potentially be you know the beginning of you know the next bull market for ethereum uh i think you know eight hundred dollars is going to be what three hundred and sixty dollars was for ethereum back in 2018 so eight hundred dollars i think it is going to be this level right here guys you know that this is something that i predicted you know many months ago and uh, of course it doesn't have to play out but uh we'll see what next year looks like but i i am you know very comfortable that you know eight hundred dollars is going to be a massive level and sometimes in the next bull market you know the bull market for ethereum is actually going to kick off once we take out you know eight hundred dollars so this level right here And of course, you know, it's not so, uh, this is no surprise when you go from the top, you know, $4,800 and drop all the way down into this range, you know, that gives you a 90% drop. And that is exactly all the way down here, guys, that gives you, that gives you a 90% drop. And that is exactly the same, you know, drop, well, almost the same drop Ethereum saw in 2018 in 2018 in 2018 ethereum went down 90 i think it was 96 or 94 percent uh hopefully i was able to touch yeah these are the bottoms right here so 94 percent in 2018 and if we get another 90 percent you know that brings that takes you from 4800 dollars you know all the way down into this range right here guys and of course, it's not just Ethereum. Uh, when you look at, you know, many of these other projects. And now we do have some projects that are, you know, definitely not looking too bad. When you look at something like, uh, you know, Polkadot, we are no longer in bubble territory. So if this is one of the projects that you want to, you know, have in your portfolio, I do think this is also a good time to start building a position you know polka that actually looks very good uh but very similar to any other project of course you know i do think the polka that could potentially drop you know down in this range right here between you know three to five dollars basically Another project that is no longer in you know bubble territory will have to be there's not many projects that look like that, but you know big projects that I am worried about is you know of course you know Cardano uh personally, I think Cardano doesn't look good, and you guys can clearly see what's happening I mean if we lose thirty nine cents. This project is coming all the way down here, guys, to around 17 cents. And from our current price down to 17 cents, you know, that is a 58% drop. So in terms of, you know, risk management, you know, I don't, I wouldn't feel comfortable uh, building a position, you know, right up here when it is, you know, clear that we could potentially go down you know, 58% from our current price. But of course, if you want to maximize your returns, you know, in the next bull market, and if Cardano is a project that you believe is going to be around, this is when, when you need to be an accumulator. You know, below 20 cents is when you need to, you know, build a massive portfolio or a massive position. Another project in, you know, huge, you know, bubble territory, of course, is Binance Coin. You know, Binance Coin is a project that worries me a lot. You know, this is a project that I'm worried about. 
And if you are, you know, a huge fan of this project and you are accumulating right now, uh, please let me know your reasons behind accumulating a project that looks like this. Because when you look at the chart of Binance coin, it is very clear, guys, that if, you know, this level right here, if we were to come all the way back here and retest 182, if 182 doesn't hold, this is going to be a $42 token. And you can clearly see what that looks like, you know, in terms of a retracement from $182 all the way down to $43. You know, that is a 76% drop. But it is even worse if you go from our current price all the way down to $42. That is an 84% drop. And again, you can clearly see on the higher time. We don't really have, you know, anything else. If this level right here was not able to hold, so be cautious out there, guys. Now, of course, this is a project that is, you know, massively going to make a lot of people, you know, a lot of money in the next bull market. Because I do think the Binance coin is a token that is definitely here to stay, and as long as you know CZ is in charge you know the returns are going to be massive uh, another project in bear uh in bubble territory has to be uh polygon uh, you guys can clearly see again if we get another leg down and you know these levels are not able to hold you know this is a token that could potentially drop all the way down here guys now, of course, you do have some levels right here around 20 cents. But, uh, you know, as someone who wants to, you know, buy tokens, you know, pennies to a dollar, you know, I want to be able to accumulate right down in this range. 